please be careful y'all driving okay this is always a theme when there is mercury retrograde going on however this is bigger than just mercury retrograde this is because mercury retrograde is happening in the motherfucking sign of aries okay this whole month of april you might as well say we're going to be in retrograde because on the 29th is when he's going to go back direct but we're still going to be feeling that energy okay so you might as well say the whole month of april is mercury retrograde energy that's going on okay now because it's in the sign of aries and aries is a speed 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 go 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 impatient impulsive sign ready to rush and get to everything like you're seeing a bunch of cars driving, speeding, going to all this, and swerving in and out of damn traffic. Wrecks and things like that are very common during Mercury retrograde. Miscommunications are very common during Mercury retrograde because Mercury is the sign of communication. Mercury is the sign of commerce and exchange. Mercury is the sign of short distance travel. It rules the third house in astrology. It's as above, so below. Okay. So be very mindful of that. This is where you're supposed to be triple checking your emails, okay? Paying attention to your text messages, your your uh, conversations that you're having, chats, all of that stuff. It's normal. It's common for communi miscommunications to happen, y'all. To be stuttering over your words, to be having blank mom like that. That's what Mercury retrograde does, okay? Now retrograde means that he is going backwards in motion. So retrograde is a time for review. And some of y'all made to review y'all cars okay but seriously uh, uh, uh it's a time for review okay so depending on where mercury is at in your chart and depending on you know the sign that you have it in all that good stuff and where you have aries at in your chart that is really going to show you where this mercury retrograde is taking place for you in your life okay for example if you're somebody that has aries in the sixth house okay you are some first of all your ass is a damn anyway never mind okay don't take it the wrong way, y'all. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Because I was going to start reading the whole damn chart, okay? Burp chart readings, link in the bio. But if you have Aries in your sixth house, if your sixth house is Aries, Mercury is over that house for you. So for you, you're going to have a lot of Mercury retrograde things surrounding your work life, okay? Surrounding your routine, surrounding organization, okay? That will be a thing. Your health, right? Maybe there's something that you started doing and you forgot, so you got to go back to realign. Like, that's what Mercury retrograde is for, okay? So again, this is why you need to know your chart, Okay? Get into your birth charts and look at your solar return charts also for deeper insights, okay? Come see me for birth chart readings, solar return chart readings. If you do not know, link in the bio is the only way to book with me. Check out my services. But yes, you guys, I want you guys to be very, very mindful of that, okay? That's the biggest thing. And I always say this when Mercury retrograde happens because it's always a lot of accidents. It never fails, okay? It, it, it never fails. And this week started off with what the moon in, what is today? We didn't say the moon was in like... Because the moon just moved into Pisces. So we can say like the moon was in the sign of like off in Sagittarius this week on moon day. Okay. Around that energy for sure. Because we had the moon in Sag and the moon went into Capricorn. Then the moon went into Aquarius. It just got out of Aquarius. So a lot of shakeups, weird, sudden changes, things happening in community with friends out of nowhere. Like just random bursts of moments. And now the moon is in Pisces. Okay. So yes you guys yes and we started off with the moon and the fire sign for sure but nonetheless again just be very mindful of that okay cardinal signs of course is feeling mercury retrograde the most okay cardinal signs are aries cancer libra and capricorn mm, we can give an honorary mention as well to the fire signs okay fire signs of aries sagittarius and leo as well of course depending on where you have these places out of your chart your houses all of that gives you much deeper insight you guys but again just be very mindful okay just be very mindful of the times that we are in right now. And remember that retrograde happens for a reason. It needs to happen. Mercury is the ruler of the signs of Gemini and Virgo. Okay. So you can even look deeper into those houses or those placements as well. Okay, you guys. But I just like to give that little reminder because sometimes we be seeing all that shit going on, right? The the fast driving, the craziness, the wrecks, the accidents, more arguments, things of that nature. But it's, it's Aries energy and it's Mercury and Aries, okay? And not only do we have Mercury and Aries, we have the Sun in Aries. We have Venus in Aries, okay? It's some other, it's like, it's some shit going on. Not to mention Chiron as it's still in Aries as well. So, is it ride the wave and enjoy the show. And remember, okay, that everything is a journey. Trust the process. Trust your experiences, okay? But baby, have fun. Because I, I know y'all feel this energy, okay? I know y'all feel it, all right? Love and light to you all.